Welcome to your seven sport zone, everyone. There's a youth movement going on at Wheeling Central this year as 34 of their 46 players are freshmen and sophomores. But as Scott Nolte tells us, that doesn't mean they won't be successful this season. Now entering his 19th season, leading his alma mater, Mike Young knows to keep a program successful, you have to have a strong foundation. And even though most of his roster is green, they know what Wheeling Central football is all about. They're, they're coming up in our feeder system, and so they understand the routine a lot. And we get them in at times for our, get them to our games, get them to our pep rallies, get them to our parades and things, and include them in with our tailgate. So they know what's expected of them. They, they don't want to change the, the, the tradition that they, they see happen. On offense, the cupboard is not bare. Sophomore Isaac Martin returns at running back. He won a state wrestling title as a freshman. Fellow sophomore Brayden McReath also returns and will line up in the backfield or at a wing. Seniors Noah Loy and J.J. White will help at fullback, while junior Seth Cover and freshman Nico Cusick are battling for the quarterback position. At receiver, look for sophomores Caleb Golden and Joey Hall, along with seniors Jaden Redman and Lucan Galbraith. Along the line, they return seniors Luca Ferreira, Grant McCabe, and Seth George. And look out for juniors Zeke Burkle, along with sophomores Luke Weir and Carver Bolin. While at tight end, they have sophomores Troy Mortakis and Maddox Stillion. We're going to do what we do the best, and uh, we, we got to, you know, make some plays, some play action, get the ball in the air a little bit, maybe to keep teams honest. Uh, you know, we're looking for these kids to get better each day, and uh, when the bell rings, they got to answer it. Defensively, they return Loy and White at linebacker and McCabe at defensive end, but they will be young at other spots. Martin will also be counted on at linebacker, while Nino Jerome and Galbraith are outside linebackers. Hall, Golden, and Redman are in the defensive backfield, while Stillian, George, Bolden, and Burkle will all see time on the defensive line. Another big question is, will they get senior Eli Tucker back? He's still recovering from a leg injury he suffered in the spring. Defensively, you got to wrap up and tackle, make plays there, uh, try to get some turnovers. But, uh, you know, it's, it goes back to what I've always said, and that's blocking and tackling. The first opponent they'll try to tackle is James Monroe next Friday, the same team they lost to in last year's state semifinals. High school football previews in the 7 Sports Zone, brought to you by The Health Plan.